Look at this thing. How cool is this? I haven't seen as much debate around a piece of Star Wars tech since Han Solo said parsec instead of literally any measurement of time. People hate this thing, but why? Well, let's figure out how Kylo Ren's lightsaber works and then figure out if he's a dummy. Okay, so by now we've all seen and heard all the many objections to Kylo Ren's tri-saber. People say it's dangerous and impractical and um, not a true lightsaber. However, the design is based on some ancient weaponry that did serve a purpose. In a previous Because Science, we did go over how a lightsaber might actually work. Using an energy source that is centuries ahead of our own, it creates a plasma that flows in a tightly coiled ring harnessed by magnetic fields and maybe the force. If the energy source was there and you could control the magnetic fields correctly, a lightsaber is at least theoretically plausible. The sun, for example, creates lightsaber loops of its own all the time when huge blasts of plasma are drawn along serpentine coils of magnetism that are much larger than the Earth. We've even achieved this kind of control over magnetic fields and plasma before, confining plasma in a ring with magnets, all inside a gigantic device called a tokamak. So what's the point of Kylo Ren's lightsaber anyway? Those little lightsaber offshoots are called cross guards and have adored sword sides for literally a thousand years, offering hand and wrist protection to swords people. You see, when you don't have hand protection, this happens. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And this. And this. And this. I could go on. No, seriously, I could go on. But needless to say, the Star Wars universe probably needs cross guards on all lightsabers, not just Kylo's. But Kylo, I hear you saying, if the cross guards come out from the main shaft of the lightsaber, couldn't you just cut right through the metal and cut off the cross guards? Well, I'll let Stephen Colbert take that one. The metal hilts are just casings around the little beams to protect your hand. Even if someone slices through the metal, they're gonna hit the beam right there. Any Padawan knows that. <laughs> but Kylo, I hear you saying in my brain, what if you get snagged on one of these cross guards? That's not that big of a problem. Look, even though many have said a plasma cross guard is more dangerous than it is advantageous or dangerous to an enemy, any swords person worth their salt would train enough so that that danger would be negligible. Just look at this guy. He put paint on the cross guards of a Kylo Ren style lightsaber and then started swinging it acrobatically like Siths and Jedis do. And guess what? With a little technique, he doesn't cut himself. Imagine that. That's probably why swords have had cross guards for literally a thousand years. Still, fair enough, he is struggling with a blade that big. It is hard for him to swing around. And it's true, when you add more weight to a blade, it makes it harder to swing. But the beautiful thing about plasma is that it's effectively weightless. It is as easy to swing a lightsaber with three blades as it is to swing one with none. Now, I agree that having plasma that close to your hands is probably a bad idea. If you had plasma cross guards that close to your hand, it could probably arc to it and disintegrate them. But this is Star Wars. If you can have a plasma blade that close to someone's neck without singeing it, you can have plasma cross guards that close to your hand without them disintegrating. And finally, Kylo's blade even looks better than most lightsabers. It crackles and sparks like the sun's own lightsaber-like arcs do. So yeah, I said it, I think Kylo Ren's lightsaber is a great design. It's effectively weightless, it protects the hands and wrists, which are cut off absurdly often in the Star Wars universe, and it fits with his character. A sword with cross guards is more brutal looking, more medieval looking, which fits with Kylo Ren's archaic character who is picking up where Darth Vader left off. And we wouldn't be talking about this thing if it weren't so gosh darn cool. Why? because the force, science. Want more science? Check out my last video on how we actually have TIE fighters now. Head back to nerds.com for more videos if you want because science two days earlier than anyone else, head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash nerdness. And as always, if you have any comments or questions for me, you can hit me up in the comment section below.
Thanks. 